Today we are going over breakfast. I don't want a protein cookie or a protein pancake. This, but honestly, uh, I didn't know that I bought this. Hopefully, oh, that died. Why well, I've been posting the last couple weeks. It, that's exactly what I, yeah, I said it. I said what I said. I can't find my tripod. And I can't find two tripods actually. And I'm hoping that this is working, but today we are going over breakfast. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? We are having breakfast. And what we are going to have is, well, I'll show you. Got the water boiling. We got some oatmeal. We're gonna take a multivitamin. And we're gonna have one of the, uh, either one or two of these pods, I'm not sure yet, maybe two. Uh, protein pods. Uh, my boy hooked me up, quick dissolving, they're pretty cool. But that's what we'll have for breakfast. All right, so we're gonna pour, I already made my coffee this morning, but we're gonna pour in the, uh, the oatmeal. Start your morning with protein. This isn't a protein. 10 grams of protein? You got the protein version? Guys, if you ever had the protein version, um, I'm gonna try it out for the first time, and I wanted to take a little review in the vlog, because I have been getting the normal ones forever, and I wanna see how the protein one tastes. So, Today we're gonna go with two. Trick me there for a second. Time to have some protein. The packages are a little different. Usually with the normal ones, I just smack them and crack them and rip them and go. These ones I feel like are a little harder. And by the way, if you do watch vlogs and watch fitness vlogs, um, Max Tuning says that the maple syrup are the best oatmeals and I'm going to have to agree with him because the maple syrups are amazing. So that's what I got, the maple, uh, the maple and brown sugar, excuse me, maple and brown sugar, and uh, the protein style. So here we go. Now I personally, I like my oatmeal a little bit more, I don't wanna say the word, moist. Some people like it a little bit more thicker. Um, I like it a little bit more watery um, because the oatmeal is absorbing it. So as the oatmeal is soaking, I'm gonna take my multivitamin um, and then I will take my protein pods after the oatmeal because the oatmeal is gonna be hard to take after the pods. The pods are easy. The pods are like 90 calories a pod. I'll leave the link down in the description. Um, again, I don't make any money off this, but I think they're pretty cool. They don't taste that good, to be honest, but um, they don't taste bad. Like, I've had way worse tasting. Like, if I don't like the taste, you know me, I'm not gonna eat it or drink it. I take and consume what I like uh, flavor-wise as well. And so these, these aren't bad. They're just not like, you know, as good as muscle milk. Um, but quick dissolving pods, uh, try them out, but they are pretty good. Did I just take that pill? I hope I did. Pretty sure I did. Not bad. Sometimes the things that you buy, you get something like some normal, like the Quaker, like the normal Quaker oatmeal, and then you get like the healthier version, like protein, right? First of all, usually it's never like healthier, but you know, low fat or like all the ones that are like healthy branded suck. Usually they just suck. So usually I don't even go for them because usually they're not really healthy. Two, they usually just suck. <laughs> protein bars, you know, usually suck. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes you'll find like a, a keto bar or like something like that or like a, you, know, you go to these like cookies and you find like protein cookies. They just suck. Like give me an Oreo. I don't want a protein cookie or a protein pancake or protein. These are actually pretty good though. Quaker, good job. I usually just want the normal stuff. So I was hesitant on this. I just spit. But um, I was hesitant on, on, on this, but honestly, uh, I didn't know that I bought this. As you guys know, when I was, I said oatmeal. I didn't know it was protein oatmeal or I would have, you know, started off like that. So I didn't even know, but the title is obviously in the show that I knew, but um, I didn't know that I was gonna have some protein oatmeal this morning, but cause I usually don't buy this stuff and that's why. These are good. Last bite. 
Mm. Yum. All right. So let's go to. Uh, for those of you guys laughing about me, me dropping my food, um, I've been dropping my food out of my mouth since I was a baby. When I eat, if you've eaten around me, I make a mess. I don't care. I've tried to clean it up. I've tried to not make a mess. And it is, it is what it is. So I just want to show you guys how these work. So the pods here, I uh, showed before on a, my previous video. Uh, if you've seen it, and I know you have, because I know you watch all my videos. So literally all we do, it looks like a, it literally looks like a Tide Pod. Now kids at home, do not be eating your Tide Pods. These are protein pods. Completely different. Maybe that's where they got it from. I don't know. But that's where it is. I don't know why it took so long to focus. Bloop. And bloop. So it's kind of dissolving in there. You guys can see it. And then as I shake it up, I'm assuming that just all gets kind of. Yeah, let's get real in there. Do you guys ever notice the focusing is slow on here, man? Like, if you, because I know. I'm not the first logger, but I definitely don't know everything there is to know about it. But if you guys know what camera I should be using, please comment down below uh, what camera I should be using. Right now I'm using the Canon 77D. Let me know. Here we go. We're gonna pour this shake, shake it up into the Tide, uh, the protein pods, not Tide pods, protein pods. Mmm, good consistency. Again, they weren't, uh, they're 90 calories, so. So as you guys can see, looks like milk. Probably won't taste like it. I like milk. I don't know about you milk haters out there. If it's not, I saw a thing the other day, like, uh, if it's not your mom, it's not your milk. One pod is 90 calories, zero grams of fat, one gram of carb, which is, in most protein shakes, you're gonna find things like with 12 grams of carbs, 20 grams of carbs, because of the sugar added to make it sweeter. Uh, this is one gram of carbs, hence also probably why it doesn't taste as good. And then uh, total sugars, zero, protein, 20. It's pretty good. Sodium, 100, calcium, 120, potassium, 110. So as long as they're telling the truth here, I think these are good to go. On the taste test, and as you guys can see, it's kind of uh, got a little mixture separation of something the foam and the drink. Uh, so, hopefully, that doesn't affect the taste. But the consistency is still good, you know. I don't see any, uh, I don't know if you guys, it's, I don't see any uh, chunks or anything. So, let's try it out. And that was two scoops, about yeah, not bad. So a way you could tell, actually, uh, a little trick, a way you could tell uh, for protein shakes, if they are, if you can stand them or not, is uh, drink them. And then right after you swallow, start talking. And if you go like this, and you start talking like, and something happens in your face or your throat, and you're like, Ugh, or like something like that, probably bad protein for you. But if you drink it, and you could have a conversation right after and there's no feedback, it's probably a good one. Because you guys know I'm a harsh grader. Uh, I mean, I don't know what all the, all the reviews of supplements are to be honest, but in Malik's world, it's real close between 7.9, 8.2. 7.9, it's hovering between that. So anyway, cheers to UXD. All right, if you guys want this, I'll leave a link down in the description. I, th I, th I think it does help out my boy though, Trevor. So Trevor, if you see this video, comment down in the comments and say hi and tell people to buy it because you use it too. And he also has some other like CBD products um, in terms of like you put on your uh, like, like lotion for healing uh, like injuries and stuff like that. Some hot and hot and icy hot stuff. So I'll be, if I like it, if it works, I'll put it on the videos, but this one for sure I liked, so I wanted to make sure that you guys know about it in case that's convenient for you, you're interested in it, or you're trying to lose weight, you can't find a protein out there, it just doesn't have a lot of calories, so try it out. All right guys, and before I end this video, excuse my beater, but I'm, this is my nighttime clothes. All right, that's why I wear at night. So I'm gonna go over what I ate all day, and then I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to go to bed. Um, I got rice chicken here, which is from Trader Joe's, that's just chicken, super easy, I don't have to cook any of it, and I just throw it in rice. The rice is actually a boil in the bag, as I've shown in my previous videos, I know you've seen it, because you watched 
all my videos, right? Chicken tikka masala, I'm gonna throw this, this is actually in the microwave right now. You guys, you gotta stir this baby up. I'm gonna throw this into there and then add a little bit of big, uh, big meal and then throw whatever the remaining is in here for tomorrow. And then earlier today I had a, uh, a bean, a black bean and Monterey Jack cheese burrito. Now these are bomb, I love them and they're not too much at um, Trader Joe's. I also have one of my favorite uh, drinks at Trader Joe's, the Villa Italia. The only reason I'm talking fast because my phone's about to die. Um, and it'll explode because I took that uh, for pre-workout. This is a CBD cool spray that I was uh, using. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that right now. Water, and then um, this was my protein shake this morning for the, uh, I filmed that and I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. So hopefully, oh, that died. <laughs> Told you it was dead. That was close, that was good timing. That was good timing. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But right as I'm making this, I also want to go over why I haven't been making videos in the last couple days, last couple weeks, actually last couple weeks. All right guys, so what I wanted to talk about, about uh, why I've been posting in the last couple weeks is because one, I haven't felt like it. You know, I haven't felt like it and I got a couple messages from you guys saying, uh, you know, why I've been posting. Um, I also have been just, you know, during the last probably two, three weeks, have been going through my own personal things and I haven't been having the energy to post. And so something that I learned or went through in the last couple days was it's okay to go through it. You know, and that's something that I like was previously learning. And I know a lot of you guys don't see me get vulnerable like this. And I don't usually get vulnerable like this. I usually super positive. Uh, it's probably a different energy than maybe you've ever seen me. Um, but you know, going back and I was, you know, was watching a lot of my videos cause uh, I was down and I was like, you know, I was well pump myself up or that's why I posted a lot of the, the Black King videos uh, with Narda. Those was just like, got me back to thinking about like how, you know, innocent and joyful and blissful life was when uh, you're younger and you know, you don't really have that many responsibilities. And it made me realize how can I have that like feeling back or, you know, a little bit. And one of the things was to one, go through it and to two, just, you know, realize how far you've come. And I heard that, I didn't just like come out, but like as I'm going through it and you know, watching videos and stuff, that came somewhere. And uh, that line kind of stuck with me. So it was just like, remember how far you've come. And I think that we always have uh, times where we're like, oh, we're not where we want to be. And you just get super down on yourself, feel unproductive, feel like a little freaking pussy. You know, you feel like a little fucking pussy. That's exactly what I, yeah, I said it. I said what I said. That's how you feel, you know? And uh, you're just sitting there drowning in your own, and like, you know, it's not like I do it a lot. I don't, yeah, I definitely don't do this a lot, but when I do, one, it, uh, I don't feel good. Like, I don't feel power, you know, I don't feel powerful. I don't feel, I don't mean to say powerful in that sense, because I know comments right now are probably gonna be like, oh, I'm not authoritarian and all that. What I mean by that is like, uh, you have control in your own life, right? You have control in your life and your day, and you have say in your choices, in your decisions that you make. Can you work out? Can you not? I'm a firm believer in you have, there's some things you can't control, 100%. And there's some things that you can control. And what I like to do personally, and what puts me in like a better mood, is focusing on those things that I can control. Right, when I start focusing on things I can control, ha, it gets crazy up here. But when I start focusing on things I can control, then it's up to me. Then it's up to me to get the ball rolling. All right, it's up to me to get up, clean my rooms. It's up to me to get up and get shit going, get shit done. Um, and communicating with you guys with these videos. And so just wanted to say, be vulnerable and it will help you heal. Did it on my second video of the Coach Malik show. I think this is 110. Uh, number two was being vulnerable isn't a weakness, it's a strength. Maybe I'll post a little clip. Don't have fake confidence. Don't think that building up a wall and not letting anyone through is real confidence because it's not. Real confidence comes from letting go of the armor, letting go of the wall. Be vulnerable, all right? Share your weaknesses in hopes. Hopefully you will inspire somebody else to get better, okay? Don't be fake, be real, and be vulnerable. I wanted to talk about that um, while I ate my chicken tikka masala, but I didn't even eat it. I just talked. I am fucking yelling. I'm in Marin uh, in the Bay Area in California, so we just turned red. Uh, that's exciting news. Since I'm eating it, why not? I'll do a review. 
on chicken tikka masala from Trader Joe's. T. Joe's. Um, I love these, man. The flavor, <sighs> amazing. Um, I think that uh, the chicken tikka masala was very underrated. At, I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I'm so fucking tired. I've been trying to edit these videos and post these videos. And that is why I may have burned out. Maybe I may have burned out. Well, we're gonna keep burning out until we get these. Guys, what's, I know I said 10,000 last time for my goal, but I'm hearing these people on YouTube and SoCal and Ohio, East Coast, saying like a million subs, a million subs. And I'm like, I want a million subs. So should we shoot for a million subs? I don't know. We got a million views, so I think we're gonna do that. So thank you to you guys. That was all because of you guys and all because of your comments. Your comments made that video go. Two, one, liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. But now let's get a million subscribers. And I won't get there without you guys. You. Yes, you. There are literally 99% of you who aren't subscribed to my channel. So I would love it if you aren't subscribed to my channel. Cheers. Excited for the future, feeling better, and I'm excited to get these videos going again. I'm going to be starting my hybrid program, um, and that's kind of what I'm showing in these in these meals. So I'm getting into it, going back to the grind, and I'm excited to get back to these videos. I'm excited to get back to engaging with you guys. If you like this video, please subscribe, turn on post notifications so you're the first to notice when I post a new video. And comment down below, say hi, let me know what type of videos you want. I read all of them. Obviously, you guys know that already, but I hope you guys are all doing well during this time. Remember, be consistent in your actions, because consistency is key. See you next video.